I spent a week in September observing from the IAC on Mount Tidy, Tenerife. The skies over Tenerife are pretty dark and well above the clouds in Port Singh, so good company and a chance to observe from a professional observatory. We arrived under a milky white sky, caused by dust blown across from the Saharan Desert, known as the Kalima. This dust really affected the sky for the first few nights. We had time on a 20-inch F-15 Cassegrain. Saturn was first up, followed by a tiny and distant Uranus and Neptune, along with their challenging moons. Using the 20-inch telescope, or half-meter, to peer into the outer solar system was a wonderful experience. These small, enigmatic planets are rarely studied. It was, of course, easy to pick up the surface disks and fake moons in such a big telescope. Not only did we use the telescope, we had access to an outside pad and nearby office. It certainly makes a change from observing from a field on Salisbury Plain. I took my Canon binoculars on a tripod and DSLR with a wide angle lens. I observed with the binoculars while the camera was clicking away and later in the week when the dust cleared to reveal a sky like you would not believe. The skies were so dark there was a wealth of objects to be seen even with the naked eye. Messier objects, dust lanes in the Milky Way, all were obvious and using the binoculars to scan our galaxy simply showed so much detail. I made some sketches through the binoculars the false comet is visible at the bottom of Scorpius. It's a chance alignment of three relatively bright stars, a bright dense open cluster and a larger more diffuse cluster. We can't see this from the UK, it never rises so it's always a pleasure to catch it on holiday. Further to the north is another large object, the Lagoon Nebula. Easily visible to the naked eye, through the binoculars you can see it's a large nebulous region cut in half by a dust lake with a bright open cluster embedded inside. Nearby is M20, the Trifid Nebula, and another open cluster, M21. Later in the night, Orion rose with its famous nebula, M42 and M43. Through the binoculars, it's a wonderful sight. You've got these bright stars of the Sword of Orion, with a bright nebula embedded inside it. Observing from Tenerife really is quite special. One night, a beautiful lenticular cloud set up over the mountain, and I recorded a time lapse showing the cloud evolve over nearly two hours. To the north were three solar telescopes that made a stunning foreground for star trails. To the west, a telescope was operating inside its dome. This made a wonderful sight as the summer Milky Way set, particularly as the telescope moves during the time lapse. Our own dome was silhouetted against the eastern sky. This provided a wonderful foreground as Orion rose along with a pre-dawn zodiacal light, brilliant Venus and a beehive cluster M44. Also treated to a beautiful view of the space station passing right overhead the dome, just in time for a meteor to go past as well. All too soon it was dawn and time to pack up. Then, after six nights of mind numbing, fatigued observing, it was time to return home with a notebook full of observations and a hard drive full of photos ready to process.